Hi everyone, how are we all today? Welcome back to my channel and if you're not new to the channel then please like, subscribe, click the bell button and come back and join us for another video. In a better mood than I was yesterday so that's good. I was at the osteopath again today, if you never saw my video last week I went there for the first time last week and he's given me some exercises that will hopefully help me. Unfortunately regarding my foot I have to go and see the doctor. That's slightly more of a problem, but nevertheless, we will get there. I feel like I've got lipstick everywhere. Does anybody have trouble with liquid lipsticks? Or is it just me? Okay, it was brought to my attention by a lovely friend of mine that my last TMI video, which was a tag video that I found online, for whatever reason, my face was completely blurred. So I'm going to redo it for you right now just as well I kept my notes okay let's go first one is what are you wearing I am wearing this lovely leopard print sort of burgundy red jumper love this color black leggings <laughs> and socks obviously I have underwear on that is TMI but that's the name of the tag have you ever been in love Eh. Uh, well, I would have, if I was 17 year old Julie, I would have said to you, yes. I thought I was definitely 100% in love with that person at the time. But looking back, I was probably more infatuated. Didn't really know what love was. Got myself in a wee state over a guy as we all do. I am currently in the only relationship I have ever been in just now with this amazing guy. He makes me feel great about myself even when I have days like today and yesterday when I feel so ugly and fat or whatever else. He just makes me feel great about me because he likes me for me. So as time progresses, yes, I am starting to fall in love with him. Oh, he gives me the feels. I love it. Ever had a terrible breakup? Obviously, with me just telling you that I this is my only relationship, the answer to that question is no. And hopefully I won't have one. How tall are you? I am five feet two. How much do you weigh? I weigh too much. I'm not going to go into it. As the osteopath told me, I am chunky. Now, people are going to think, God, that is so rude of the osteopath to say that. But he wasn't meaning that in the sense of being callous or anything. What he was meaning is that my frame I have a chunky frame yes I am overweight he didn't say that I know that myself but as he was saying I can blame my parents for that because I have a chunky frame and you get your frame not necessarily your weight but your frame from either parents so cheers mum and dad for making me a chunky monkey any tattoos no no tattoos piercings I did have my ears pierced, but they closed over and I don't think I really suit earrings, so I'm bothered to re-get them done. Something you miss, of course, that would be my mum, as she is the biggest loss you could probably ever have in your life. I lost her when I was 19 to cancer. I'll maybe go into a video about my mum another time in more depth, but yes, I do miss her. And even though I still see my friend Emily, she is my best friend, she stays down in York. So I do miss not having her nearer to me. And I also miss my boyfriend because he stays in Dundee, which isn't near to me either. But we talk every single day and I know I'll be seeing him soon. And as they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Oh my God, such a cheese ball. How old are you? I am 33 years young. Even though my 40 chins and my lines on my forehead say different. My star sign, I am a Sagittarian. Yes, it is a word. Someone said to me, Sagittarian, when I went, oh, you're a fellow Sagittarian. They were like, that isn't a word. I'm like, yes, it is. Hello. Uh, quality you look for in a pair, in a partner. Partner, in a partner. Uh, humour. Humour is, I would say, the key. Like, oh. Honest to God, what's the point of being with someone who is like really nice, treats you well, you get on with them, all that sort of stuff that you want in a person, but they're as dull as dishwater. 
you need to have a bit of personality, a bit of humour, a bit of banter. Me and Bruce banter all the time. He makes me laugh, he makes me smile. Hands down, got to be that. Favourite quote, what's for you won't go by you. Karma is a bitch. Uh, don't judge a book by its cover. What's the other one? Something to do with walking a mile in someone's shoes. I know I'm going to get that wrong. You can tell me in the comments below. But I think don't judge a book by its cover is one that we all... I don't care what anybody says, no matter who you are out there. You could be the nicest person in the world or you think you are. And I'm not saying that you aren't. But everybody says, oh, I don't judge anybody. I don't slag anybody off. We all do it and we all have done it. Let's be honest. That's just the way we are. It's human nature. We've all disliked someone without giving them a chance. We've all had that back. And if you haven't, then you're lucky. But yes, judgment. Judgment is so difficult. And yeah, try not to judge a book by its cover. Favourite actor is Tom Hanks. Favourite actress is uh, Julie Waters. I, I do like her. She's good. And at that, Olivia Colesman, or Coleman. It's in Broadchart. She is really good. Whoa, where do you go when you're sad? Um, when I'm sad, I don't specifically go to any place. Sometimes if it's a nice day, which being in Scotland is uh, not very often, I will maybe go and sit down by the water and just sort of reflect and listen to the waves or whatever or take my music with me sometimes I just recoil I suppose a little bit into myself and just go a bit quiet I have a few moments or I have a good cry don't be embarrassed to have a good cry it helps ever been in a physical fight no I haven't I am a lover not a fighter I think fighting is just whether it's verbal or physical it is just so draining and a waste of energy and see when you see particularly women fighting it is so unattractive and particularly over a man i'm sorry no man is worth fighting over don't be that person if he's gone off and done something wrong or you're the jealous type and he looked at someone the wrong way that's your issue don't go and attack someone else for it. So, no, I haven't. Turn-ons. A sense of humour. A nice smile. Lovely eyes. Turn-off. Oh, my God. The biggest turn-off, I think, in anybody, not just males, is people that are cocky, overconfident, and just act like they know everything. It is so frustratingly annoying. Like hello it's just annoying i think it's different to be like like say for example i did massage at college right and i've never done it with a job excuse me i do lack a lot of self-confidence which holds me back in a hell of a lot of things and even at the age of 33 i've still not found a way of adjusting to that so say for example i was to say i think i am absolutely fantastic at massage I don't think there's anything wrong in saying I am good at massage. I'm not saying that I am, I'm using this as an example. But see when someone's like, oh my God, you know what I mean? Like, I'm the best looking thing, I'm good, so amazing. It's just like, pipe down, whatever, mate. Take a look in the mirror. Like, if you were, you know these people where you look at them, you're like, seriously, if you were chocolate, you would eat yourself. Like, folk like that, it's just like, okay, good luck to you. Give yourself a wee pat on the back, happy days. No. Fears, dying. My biggest fear is dying. I still cannot get my head around the fact that one of these days I will not exist. It, I just, I just, it scares me so much. And it scares me even more after losing my mum. My dad does tell me all the time that obviously you're never going to get rid of the fear of dying. But as you get older, you worry about it less. The uh, last book I read was a book called The Breakdown by B.A. Paris. It was very good. It's, um, it's a very good psychological thriller, very twists and turns. And yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. So go and give look up B.A. Paris. Give her books a read. 
uh, last show you watched, the last show that I watched was Malcolm in the Middle this morning, but I wasn't actually watching it, it was just on in the background while I was getting ready to head out the door. Last person I spoke to was my boyfriend. I didn't physically speak to him, but I just messaged him there when I got back in. Other than that, it was having a conversation with my father. Deep joy. My favourite food is pizza. I love pizza. I love tagatelli with like a mushroomy sauce, sometimes with chicken and what have you. And I like a good quality burger. Places I would like to visit, they would be Prague, New York and Mauritius. Will I ever get to them? I do not know. So guys, hopefully this time my face is not going to be blurred throughout the whole entire video. You can see me. Ooh. <laughs> Won't get too close so you'll like the state of that lipstick. So anyway guys, have a great Friday. And if you're getting up to anything exciting this weekend and doing things with your family for Easter, hope you have a great time. Unfortunately, I am working this weekend. So I am away now to make myself possibly a ginger latte. Not quite decided. And I am probably going to go on YouTube or watch some programmes I recorded last night. Have a great day. As I said, like. If you watch the video and you haven't subscribed, please, 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 please subscribe. I am so grateful. I have been doing this, it'll be two months at the end of this month, and I have got up to 31 subscribers. That is amazing. Let's see if we can get it up to even 40, and then we'll make the gap even bigger and fill it. Let's get me to 100 subscribers so that I can get a link out there to give to you guys. Have a great day, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.